Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you some couple ways how you can fix corrupted data and also you can actually not see corrupted data if you have it on the home screen right now. So on the PS4 you could actually see something like corrupted data and you can just click on that and stuff like that but on the PS5 you don't really have that option. So first of all what you want to do is you want to go over to settings and you want to go over to storage. On storage, you want to go over to your saved data and you want to go to the game that you have to corrupt the data right now. So let's just say that you have corrupted data on your PS5 game or your PS4 game. You just want to click on that. So you just want to go ahead and go to the game. So let's go over here. And the first fix will be deleting that corrupted data, like I said, guys. So what you can also do is you just can just click on it and what you can also do is click on here so once you click on here guys you can actually find a lot more data so you can go ahead and not delete every single data that you have on your playstation just delete the latest one so this could be also a fix for you just deleting the latest data that you had and if you don't really want to do it, like it's not that big of an issue if you just lose like one mission ago or something like that. But if you like did 10 missions or 20 missions in a game and you don't want to lose it, you can also do some other stuff. So let me go back. And the second way how you can try to fix it is by deleting the game and not the save data. So I had this problem actually a couple of times so i had some problems with my gta 5 so i thought it was the corrupted data but it was the game itself so what i did was i deleted gta 5 and i also had the same problem on modern warfare warzone and it actually worked just by deleting my game and not the save data and just re-downloading it so this could be also a fix but this is more like a longer time because you have to re-download the game itself again so if you don't really care and if you have like another game that you mainly play you can just also play that game so let's just go ahead and go to way number two i mean actually way number three so guys to go into save mode what you want to do is you want to first off plug your playstation controller in with your PS5 so make sure it's connected to your PS5 and after that you want to go through some settings so on settings what you want to do is you want to go over to system so let me do that right now and on here on system what you want to do on here is you want to go over to HDMI and you want to make sure that enable HTCP is turned on so the reason why is once you go into save mode and this is turned off you won't not see any screen at all. So that problem sometimes happens. So that's why you have to turn this one on. And if you're using Elgato Game Capture Card or a uh, HDMI switch, there could also be problems. So I suggest you to unplug it from your HDMI switch or your Elgato Game Capture Card and make sure that the cables are directly connected to the screen from the PS5 to the TV or monitor. Now you want to make sure that your rest mode is also turned off and once you're done with that what you want to do is you just want to close it off from here guys you want to close it off from here open the quick menu and go for the power and go for it to turn off so let me do turn off yeah now what you want to do is you want to wait till the blanking stops so do you see that white blanking over there you want to make sure that it actually does stop. And now once it stops, guys, what you want to do is you want to keep holding the power button. But this is what I want to tell you guys. If you still see a orange light coming out, it means that it's in rest mode. And if you turn off your PS5 from here, for example, what will happen is it will go into rest mode. So if you cannot go to safe mode, it is probably maybe that you have enabled rest mode. So let's keep holding the bottom power button. Keep holding it till you hear two beeps. And you can also like and subscribe guys. Thank you so much. And the second beep, just release it. And now you should see a screen. 
And if you don't, just make sure that you get your remote and switch your HDMI back. Now you should see something like this. Oh, my remote was falling. Guys, once you click on your PSM button, your controller is activated. And also make sure that your controller is also connected to your PlayStation 5 right now. So now you will get this screen. So what you want to do is click on number five and rebuild database. And then what you want to do is you want to click on rebuild database again. So it will tell you to go ahead and wait for a couple hours, but this is not true most of the cases, guys. It will probably take only two minutes, and let me tell you that. 99% of all of you will just pass this by two to three minutes, unless you have like a really serious pro a problem, 10,000 errors or something like that on your PlayStation. So this can actually fix a lot of problems like error codes, uh, things like that, internet issues and so on and so on. And you won't lose safe data, guys. I will also tell you that. Don't worry about safe data because you won't lose it by rebuilding database. So guys, if rebuilding database doesn't work for you, I will try out something like clearing out my cache. So instead of clicking on rebuild database the next time, click on clear cache. So these are all my fixes for getting rid of corrupted data on the PS5. And yeah, that's basically it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe if it worked out for you. And also comment down below if it worked for you or didn't work. And if it worked, uh, just comment down below which tab actually worked. Rebuilding database or clearing cache or something else. Take care.